Hello learners, welcome to my class. Today it's a fine Sunday morning in the place where I'm speaking from. And um, I think this is the perfect time to teach and learn. Let's learn about transitive and intransitive verbs today. Before I start the lesson, I want you to think in your mind, how much do you know about transitive and intransitive verbs? Do you know a lot about it? Just think a yes. And if you don't know anything about this, just think a no. Now let's begin. Transitive and intransitive verbs are a fraction of a very big topic called verbs. Verb has, so it can be categorized into uh, many types. However, this is only a fraction of the whole topic. I am going to take four examples to first try to understand what is the difference between transitive and intransitive verbs. Now here, to signify transitive, I have used T as a short form of transitive uh, verbs, and I have used IN for intransitive verbs. So don't get confused. T would always now mean in this video, transitive and IN would mean intransitive. Now, let's move on to the first sentence. Every sentence has a subject, verb, and an object. However, it is possible that some sentences don't have an object, yet they will make sense. In this sentence, she is the subject, laughed is the verb, and joke, the joke is the object. I hope you'll agree with me. And uh, if you think you do not know about subjects and objects, please check my video. I have made one video on subject and object as well. If you watch that video, uh, hopefully your concept will be clear. Moving on to the next one. My sister doesn't drive. In this sentence, my sister is the subject. And what do you think is the verb? Yes, it's drive. So we're going to write down V for verb. Moving on to the third one, they slept on the street. Here, they is the subject, slept is the verb, and the street is the object. And the fourth sentence here says the rich man gave him a car. The rich man here is the subject, gave is the verb, and car is the object. So now what is the difference between these sentences. I hope it's pretty clear now. In all the sentences with transitive verb, as you can see, it ha they have objects. All these sentences have objects. So a transitive verb is present when an object is there in the sentence. In the other hand, if you see this sentence, my sister doesn't drive, here we do not have an object. It's, so this is a very easy way for you to identify the transitive or intransitive verbs in a sentence. Now, let's move forward. Transitive verbs require an object to complete a thought. So a trans, as in a sentence, if you see, for example, she slept on a couch here, we can also say she slept. However, if we say only she slept, the concept won't be complete. The thought won't be complete. To make it complete, we have used an object, which is a couch. So transitive verb would always have an object. This is the first way to identify a transitive verb in a sentence. Another way how you can find the transitive verb in a sentence is this. By asking a question, what, by whom, or who in a sentence. Now, where do we do it and how do we do it? Let's see that. I want you to look at this sentence. The dog barked at the cat. In this sentence, what is the subject? We were correct. The subject is the dog. What is the verb? The barked is the verb. Is there an object? The cat. So we can also include barked at as the verb. Okay? And the cat is the object. So subject, verb, and object is here. Now we have to ask a question with what, whom, or who immediately after the verb. So the dog barked at what? 
after making, after putting the question what, see if you find an answer in the sentence. The dog barked at what? Do we have an answer? Yes, the cat is the answer. So the cat is acting as an object. And if we have a sentence wherein we get the answer of what as an object, that sentence has a transitive verb. So barked here is a transitive verb. However, intransitive verbs do not require an object to complete a thought. For example, she slept. This is also a complete thought. It makes sense. It makes sense if we say she slept. However, uh, there is no object in the sentence, unlike the transitive, unlike the sentences with transitive verbs. We can also say she slept on a couch. Now, if we say like this, then do you think this slept will become a transitive or an intransitive? Right now, slept is an intransitive in this sentence. If we only say she slept, slept here acts as an intransitive verb. But if we say she slept on a couch, here slept will act as a transitive verb. because we have, an, we have an object here. Let's take some practice exercise. Oh, so intransitive verb, find an answer to what, whom, or who. We cannot do that in this sentence because this sentence is full in itself. She talked. We don't have any further information. So this is intransitive verb. Now let's practice. Here's the first sentence from the forest. She picked some red juicy berries. What is the um, subject in the sentence? She is the subject. And uh, what is the verb? Verb is picked. And do we have any object in the sentence? Some red juicy berries. So these are the object. So we now know we can also do the second method. From the forest, she picked what? We have an answer to what? Some red juicy berries. So that means this should be a transitive verb. Yes, that's right. Next sentence. It snowed heavily. It here is the subject. Snowed here is the verb. Do we have any object here? Heavily cannot be an object because this is an adverb, right? It's acting as an adverb. It's not a noun. And objects mostly are nouns. So here, the answer will be intransitive. You cannot even ask a question with what, whom, or who. So definitely, this is not a transitive verb. So snowed here is the intransitive verb. The learners arrived at the venue. Here, the learners is the subject, arrived is the verb, and the venue, arrived at, also can be considered because we have to ask a question and it should make meaning. So the venue is the object. You can also try asking questions. The learners arrived at what? And the answer is the venue. So since we are getting an answer to what, this should be a You are right, this should be a transitive verb. The leader spoke about green revolution. Here, the leader is the subject, spoke is the verb, and green revolution is the object. So the answer will be spoke here. Spoke is the verb here, and it is a transitive verb because it is also giving us an answer to what? Now let's take a quiz to check your understanding. Guru voted for a corrupt leader last year. Do you think this sentence has a transitive or an intransitive verb? If your answer is transitive, you're correct. The injured dog's health deteriorated. Do you think this sentence has a transitive or an intransitive verb? The answer is intransitive. If your answer if correct, give yourself a pat on your back. May I talk? Does this sentence have a transitive or an intransitive verb? 
If your answer is intransitive, you are right. Now, this is all about transitive and intransitive verbs that I had to facilitate for the day. Now, I want you to rethink the same question that I asked in the beginning of this video. Now, do you think you understand transitive or intransitive verbs? If you have any doubts or comments, and if your answer is no, please use the comment box below to ask any doubts or questions. I'll try to help you as much as I can. Till then, I want you to keep watching my videos, consider subscribing and liking it. Please share my video with your friends. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.